think, um, you know, in the beginning, uh, learning and see seeking elm and knowledge, it's, it's very exciting. You know, you get into it and you're on this, like, on this high, you know. And, um, uh, and then there's a lot of information coming in and out and from everywhere. So uh, it can get a bit confusing. And, I, and I, did, I was a little bit confused in the beginning, but Alhamdulillah, I have really, really good teachers. I have um, good teachers guiding me. Um, and I find that um, learning at this age, at 35 this year, oh, mashallah, okay. <laughs> um, it, it, was, it was a bit difficult for me to get back into the whole student um, frame of mind. Um, going for class, coming home, revising, and then sitting for exam. That whole process was a little bit uh, difficult. But after a while, I knew that, you know what, it's important for me to take my study seriously. Because if not, then how will I improve? So, um, so you know, now I'm finding it more enjoyable to study, and more enjoyable to actually, you know, sit for exams, and and actually do the work at home. So, um, it's yeah, it, it was it was it was like, yeah, because you know, you're you're studying, you're working at the same time, so you have to juggle everything, and then family. Um, but uh, now I've I've gotten to the flow. I think I'm at a, I'm at a good pace, and I'm really happy over this where I'm at. Alhamdulillah. Actually, I've just uh, started studying again mm -hmm. after so many years of not studying and I've taken up a diploma in Islamic studies. Very good. Um, mm -hmm. I'm still in my s first semester mm -hmm. and one thing that I find that's a little bit difficult, that I'm finding difficult is actually staying motivated. Mm -hmm. Um, during my studies while I'm working at the same time. Mm -hmm. Could you give some advice to a student like me and other students out there on how to stay istiqamah or stay motivated um, when it comes to searching no for knowledge? I would share, I think, the advice of Imam Shafi'i here who uh, reminds us that in order to be a very successful student, there are a number of things that you need to have. And he says six things that you need to have if you want to be a very successful student. The first is to take care of your quick mind and your wit and your common sense and let us not abuse uh, what God has given us mm -hmm. uh, by making sure that we don't um, uh, spend all night long playing PlayStation uh, okay. uh, because if you do that then you probably get computer drunk. Okay. You see. Or being distracted by other things as well like the PlayStation. That's right. Yeah. The second advice of Imam Shafi is we need to have the zeal for knowledge. Herosun, mm -hmm. um, he says um, in his beautiful poem uh, to have the zeal of knowledge is something that is actually easiest for perhaps people like you, people who've come to the path recently, for instance. So you certainly will have that um, uh, zeal, that, that wanting to work hard on something. And that's something which if we don't have, if we don't have that want, and if we don't have that intention, if we don't have that azam, that resolution in wanting to do this, then you'll never be able to achieve that. Mm -hmm. So that's very, very important. That's why the Prophet, peace be upon him, said in a beautiful hadith, of course, إِنَّمَا الْأَعْمَلُ wa inna لِكُلِ إِمْرِ مَا So every action that we do is um, informed and based by an intention. Mm -hmm. uh, so if we don't put the intention behind our actions, then the actions we do become meaningless, really. So you don't infuse meaning to the action that you do. Yeah. And so one of the reasons why many students get demotivated, really, other than if they don't have a good teacher, that is, mm -hmm. of course, from themselves, if they don't um, put in their intention. And I think whenever we do feel that way, if we feel lazy, if we feel demotivated for some reason, for whatever reason, for whatever distraction that might come up, mm -hmm. then I think we should then be reminded of the advice of the Prophet The third advice um, of Imam Shafi is, um, well, iftikar actually, poverty he says. Now, he does not mean by this, however, uh, that you need to be poor in order to be a good student of knowledge. Mm -hmm. He did not mean by this that you need to not have any money, for example, that you have to keep a life of destitute. And some, by the way, students actually do take this literally and they think that the only successful student out there is that if you're a poor student and in fact the original meaning of iftikar poverty in, in this context um, according to many many of our ulama is to be humble actually mm -hmm. so to recognize to realize to 
um, have that realization that you don't know. So it's only when you don't know something that you realize you don't know that you realize you need to learn about that something. And, and, and this is very, very important. I think if we don't have that humbleness, that, that uh, humbleness um, in knowing our limits, really, that we do not know what we know, mm-hmm. we do not know when we do not know, and this is really when we have problems, I think, in the world. Believe it or not, I'm afraid, sometimes we may be demotivated by the fact that if we go to a, a lesson, we go to a class and we listen to the sheikh, to the teacher, to the master, and we think that oh, we already, I already know about this, so there's nothing to, uh, to learn from him or her. Learn, yeah. So if we have that attitude, so this is an attitudinal problem, right. uh, which is the third advice, that we need to correct our attitude. Then. Mm. The only person I should compete with to be better then is the person I was yesterday. I know staying steadfast is a struggle, but I need to constantly reflect and seek his forgiveness every day. Turn on your Wi-Fi with Al-Wahid, the one and only, for he be my source of love, hope and fear, and no one can be compared to or ever interfere. a degree of control over who you choose to teach you and therefore you should always choose teachers who are well qualified